The Los Angeles Lakers lost shooting guard Malik Monk to a division rival. According to multiple reports, Monk signed a two-year $19 million contract with the Sacramento Kings. The Kentucky product got most of the non-tax player mid-level exception from Sacramento, according to SportTrack. LeBron James, though, he is not happy with the Lakers not matching the contract. See, Monk was the second best player on the Lakers squad last season. It was not Anthony Davis nor Russell Westbrook. Monk was a spark off the bench that at times will give the Lakers the energy they needed to muster up a few wins here and there. Monk played in 76 games for the Lakers during the 2021-2022 season where he averaged 13 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists while shooting 47% from the field, 39% from beyond the arc, and 79% from the free throw line. The Lakers will miss Monk's production. The scoring guard was 4th on the team in points per game and 1st in May 3-pointers. Los Angeles superstar LeBron James was a big fan of Monk, telling ESPN in March that the Arkansas native brings a knockout punch. Monk reunites now with his college teammate, the Aaron Fox. On the Kings, the 24-year-old has career averages of 10 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists in 309 regular season games with the Charlotte Hornets and LA Lakers. But how can the Lakers replace Monk's production? Well, They've made their biggest one by signing Lonnie Walker the sixth to a one-year deal worth six and a half million dollars. Walker comes to the team after spending four seasons with the San Antonio Spurs and being coached by Greg Popovich. In the 2021-2022 season, Walker averaged 12 points, two rebounds, two assists, while coming off the bench in 64 of his 70 games played. The Lakers were able to sign Walker after the Spurs revoked his qualifying offer just hours before free agency started, making him an unrestricted free agent. He's not particularly tall, just at 6'4", though his 6'10 wingspan does help make up for the lack of raw height. Hopefully, Ham and assistant coach Phil Handy can deploy his physicality on defense more successfully than the Spurs did during the regular season last year. We'll have to wait and see whether the Los Angeles Lakers can help Walker reach his potential, but on just a one-year deal, both sides would likely hope that growth can happen sooner rather than later. Given the franchise imperative on winning within LeBron's closing window of contention, having used their loan tax player, having used the, having you, <clears throat> having used their loan taxpayer mid-level exception on him, the Lakers will likely miss out on the opportunity to sign any of the more polished wings that were linked before free agency began. Also, as explained by NBA salary cap expert Yosi Goldsland, using a full taxpayer mid-level exception, Walker pushes the Lakers to $20 million into the tax and prevents them from paying their second-round pick, Max Christie, anything more than a minimum contract. Still, Lonnie Walker the six is the best case scenario that could have happened and could have ended up with the Lakers this season with the budget they have. But one thing for sure is LeBron James is not happy after losing their second best player last season, but at least he got some upside with Lonnie Walker, who's a better defender and a far better shooter than Malik Monk was last season.